Okay. Um, I was originally planning to um, to just go and do some graphics, and uh, this was supposed to be the second on the graphics, but I'm going to uh, take a sort of a digression here and talk about something called data transformations because uh, uh, this is very important and useful, useful for me too. So we're going to go through this now and then um, come back and finish up those graphs. A little more advanced than the graphic stuff, but uh, it, will, it could be uh, useful. So let's see if we can get through this. Um, so data transformations, first uh, one we're going to do is defining groups via a factor. Okay, so I have here V, it's just a regular vector, and then here F is the concatenation of these things, and then uh, we have this function factor, which to be honest, I'm not exactly sure what it does, but I guess it just transforms this, this would be actually a character string, um, character vector, and now it becomes a factor. And I checked the class of F afterwards, and it is a factor. So suppose we have these two things, and um, now we could sort of set this up side by side. What I mean by that is we could set this up side by side like that. So we would say that uh, 40 is associated with A, and 2 is associated with C, and 83 is also associated with A and 28 with B, and 58 with C. So we could sort of say that the factor identifies the group of each vector element. So remember we said that 40 and 83 are both in like group A. So 40 and 83 will both be in group A. So we'll say that these sort of form groups, and we can sort of say that the factors kind of group the vector, or put the vector into groups. And we could call the, these kind of grouping factors. So that, uh, the factors group the vector. So we could call them grouping factors. And we can sort of say that the factors kind of slice and dice the data by putting them into groups. And remember that that's exactly what I was doing or wanted to do in the last video. I wanted to uh, put the temperature into groups according to the month. So I wanted to make five groups. And this occurs often in statistics, right? When you want to comp compare group means or comparing group proportions or other things. Okay, let's stop this. That was just a kind of explanation. And the next thing, we'll actually do something.